Hello, this is Ron Rizmin at Camertown.com, and today I'm going to be showing you a um, an application called Shape Collage. It's very rare that I get excited about a software application, not to mention a free software application. I think the last time that I really got excited about a free software program was when I first started using Google's Picasa uh, software package, which I still love. But Shape Collage is a program that'll automatically take photos from your folders that you select and create a photo collage but in the shape of anything that you can draw text that you can type in uh, logos that you can design and then load in and it's a very powerful and very simple program and the results are stunning I think it's just it's perfect for Valentine's Day if you're watching this on February 13th which is when I recorded it you have tonight to create yourself a photo collage as a card for your spouse most likely your wife so here I am in the application called Shape Collage 2.0 and you can either drag your photos into this photos bin area on the left or you can use the plus button right down here on the bottom left you click on this and now you select the folders that you want to use to load in your um, photographs to build a collage so I'm gonna to go to my iDrive which is my external drive where I keep all my photographs and once here I'm gonna to go to the photo folder and I'm gonna to go to 2008 and I'm just going to select a few months worth of folder uh, folders because I don't want to uh, sit here and specifically drag this tutorial out uh, just for selecting folders and photos. So it's working now to load in probably hundreds and hundreds of photos uh, into this into this area. You can see my little um, hourglass here is working, and it's loaded in a bunch of photos. Now, typically when you create a collage, you want to use photos that are relevant to uh, what you're doing. For example. Um, on the Flickr group, there's a Flickr group now for shape for shapes, and you know if you look at some of these shapes in, in view here, you can see the Windows logo. Maybe with that would be made up of Windows screenshots. Uh, somewhere I saw a, uh, a Playboy logo that was made up of magazine covers from different issues of Playboy. Uh, so right now I'm just using a bunch of random photos, but this will give you a good idea of how this program works. So I've got my photos loaded in that I want to use to create my collage, and now up here on the right hand corner you've got an area where you can select what kind of shape you want. Now you can select rectangle, a heart, or circle, or you can type in text, so I can type in a letter, I can type in a word, so I can put love, and now if I want to preview this, you come to the middle section, your middle section is your status screen. This shows you what the preview is going to look like, and you can also watch it while it's creating your final collage. So I'm going to click on preview, and now as you can see, it's going through it at 48, 50, 60, 100 percent, it's done now, and it's going to show me a, a, a quick layout of what this looks like. So now you can see it's done. This is the way the word love will look. And I'm going to hit create. And when you click on create, a request a box will pop up so that you can save this out. So I'm going to save this out as a love collage. And I'm going to keep it as a JPEG. I'm going to keep my quality all the way at 100%. I'm going to click on save. And now it's drawing out the collage. So we're already at 10% done. So it's not going to take too long. And once this is done, I will open this um, word love up in Fireworks so that you can see what the final output of the application looks like. And we're at 75% now. Now you can change a lot of the, uh, the settings on this right hand side. You can actually select the size for the collage. You can select how many pixels you want each photo to be. You can select how many photos you want to use in the collage and how much space in between the photos you have. So we're done with this collage right now. So I'm going to open up Fireworks. And uh, this is one that I just created, by the way, right before I recorded. And this is um, a heart. And then the word I love you I did separately, and then I combined them in this application. So you can see how the word I love you would work in a photo collage. And now let me just load in the one we just did and resort these by date. And there we go, love collage. So this is opening now in Fireworks, just so I can show you what this looks like. And now you can see how it, it twists and turns your photographs to create your individual letters. So there's my word love. And now if you wanted to take this and incorporate this within another document, I can just copy and paste that in here and um, maybe I'll get rid of this one and I'll put the word love and then I'll use my um, my lasso or my magic wand tool just to get rid of some of the white space around it so we can actually do an overlay here. So a great little Valentine's card right there made up of photographs. It's an amazingly simple application. It doesn't cost you a penny, which is even more amazing. And the nice thing is you can create your own custom shape. So if you click on custom, up will come a, a little painting area here where you can either load in a graphic. So I'm going to select load and I'm going to go back to my iDrive 
and I think I put it on the camera. There we go. So this is the actual image that I found on the web. I then scaled it up um, in order to uh, make it larger for the collage. And now we, we click at the bottom here. We click Done. And so now this is going to be the shape I use. And I can hit Preview just to see what the initial preview is going to look like. And again, right now I'm only using 150 photographs. So it's very, very quick at previewing. And now I'll just give you some idea of what it'll look like with the spacing set higher. So if I want more space between the photographs, I hit Preview. And this works out well when you're trying to do a little bit more detail work. You're trying to keep some separation, as for example, with her legs on the chair uh, and the desk itself. And I can also tell it to use more photographs. So I'm going to tell it to use 300 photographs, but with a spacing of 106%. And this shouldn't slow things down too much, but it's going to use now double the amount of photographs. We're 20% or 15% done right now in the preview, so it does take a little bit longer. But you can see the amount of um, detail, and the more photographs you use, the more detailed it can look, especially when you keep your spacing a little bit further apart. So you can either type in text, you can use your own custom uh, drawing, and if I click in custom and I open this up, I can clear this away and I can draw my own shapes. If I wanted to draw, and I'm not really good at drawing anything, but if I wanted to draw the, uh, you know, the, uh, let's, let's draw a little Snoopy here. Oh, that's terrible. And I'm going to um, use a bigger brush and I'm going to fill Snoopy in. And this will then create a collage in the shape. So it uses the black and white portions of a photograph when you're doing a, um, a shape, when you're creating a custom shape, it uses the black portion to create your collage. That's terrible, but let's use that anyway. Now I'm going to hit preview. I'm going to go back to, uh, let's say, 200 photographs just to speed this, thing up, speed this up a little bit. And it's going through now and creating a collage in that shape. So any shape that you can draw, any shape that you can load in, um, you can create a collage out of. And the heart comes with it, which is just perfect for Valentine's Day, which is tomorrow. So I'm going to click on Heart and just show you how it does the heart really quick. And uh, this is called Shape Collage, and you can find this at a website, Vincent Chung. That's Vincent, C-H-E-U-N-G, dot C-A. So if you go to www.vincentchung.ca, you can download this application. It's totally free. It's available for the Mac. It's available for Windows. It's available for Linux. Um, and you can also get as a Java, you know, a web application as a Java web stat or a Java file. And uh, if you love the application, please donate. I think it's a, uh, a great application to donate to. I would like to see it expanded. There are a few things that I, that I think need to be corrected, but I can't really complain too much on a free application. And that is once you've taken the time to find the, the, the collection of photos that you want to use in your collage, especially when you're clicking on multiple folders, which it's nice that it allows you to do that, but it doesn't have any way of saving your folder layout. So if you exit the application and you want to come back in tomorrow and do this again, you've got to go through and, and reselect all your f folders to find those photos. So what I would suggest uh, initially is maybe take these photos and either duplicate them, export them using Picasa into its own folder so that they're always together in one place so it's easy to select. But hopefully we will find out maybe in Collage 3.0 that they've added uh, a way to save the folder uh, list, which are basically saving out a text file of the locations of where all your photographs are. Um, other than that, there's really not too many things I would change in this. Uh, maybe some more predefined custom shapes, but it's so easy to create your own, I'm not even sure if that's an issue. And that's it. So that's Shape Collage 2.0. This is Ron Risman at Camera Town. Thank you for watching.